Hey, it's Josh Reimer, and today I'm in Seattle on another trip around the gayosphere, a place where a gay couple can get married and smoke pot together. It's the American dream. Gaysphere.com is your gateway to the best gay and lesbian travel destinations like Seattle, Washington, home to the first Starbucks, birthplace of Jimi Hendrix, and the city with possibly the least useful monorail in America. Seriously, this thing only has two stops and both within the downtown core, because heaven forbid you just take a bus or a taxi or walk the mile. One of the best parts of Seattle is Pike Place Market. Located downtown along the ocean, this place is fishier than drag queen Carmen Carrera. You can get all sorts of fresh seafood here, and you might even catch a guy throwing around a piece of halibut. I don't normally like the smell of fish, but this time, I'm making an exception. Capitol Hill is the focal point of the gay community, where you can find shops and restaurants and clubs. This one claims to be the gayest gay club in Seattle. I wonder where the straightest gay club is. If you like eating good food, and really, who doesn't, a trip to Seattle must include visiting Belltown, which is essentially the epicenter of Seattle's restaurant scene. Here you'll find fantastic eats from all over the world, including this place that sells bacon-wrapped dates. Because really, everything tastes better when it's wrapped in bacon. And if you like having fun, because trust me, not everyone does, I've been on dates with a few of them, you'll have to check out the Fremont area as well. Unique shopping, a flea market on Sundays, and a troll. Not the internet kind, but the under the bridge kind. I kid you not. Freaking gay. The best time to visit Seattle is of course during the warm and sunny summer months. Unless you have a thing for rain. I mean, I'm not gonna judge. I once dated a guy who actually preferred cloudy days to sunny ones. Yeah, he's one of the fun guys I mentioned earlier. So with everything it has to offer, Seattle is definitely a great place to visit with a variety of things to check out and a vibrant LGBT scene. Just don't plan to get around by monorail because unlike in The Simpsons, this one might be pretty safe, but it's also pretty pointless. Thanks for watching and be sure to visit gayosphere.com to plan your next trip. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can catch the next episode when I'll be at another LGBT friendly location somewhere in the gayosphere. Uh, excuse me, do you have a joint? Well, it's legal here. A place where a gay couple can get married and smoke pot. I don't normally like the smell of feet. Sells bacon wrapped dates because really everything tastes better. Tastes better when it's wrapped in bacon. Could you?